Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to compress images for WordPress using GIMP, the free photo editor. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off by just dragging and dropping the image we want to compress into GIMP. And I'm just going to keep this at its native color profile. GIMP can be downloaded for free from GIMP.org if you've never used it before. So we want to compress this image because it is gigantic. And if we upload gigantic images to our website, it's going to slow down our page load speed. But first off, we do want to change the aspect ratio if we need to. Let's do that first. So hit the Shift C key on your keyboard or grab the crop tool from your toolbox. Come down here to the tool options. Make sure you have the fixed aspect ratio option checked. And you can always click on the drop down if this doesn't say aspect ratio. And then set your aspect ratio to whatever you want. So for example, 16 colon 9, or you can go 4 colon 3, or if you want a square image, go 1 colon 1. I have allow growing unchecked. So that means that when I click and drag my mouse, it's not going to allow me to go outside of the image boundaries. So we can grab the handles around the outside of the crop area to resize this and then click and drag in the middle of the crop area to move it. And once I'm ready, I'll click inside the crop area and that'll crop the image. I have delete cropped pixels checked, which means all of the pixels outside of that crop area have now been deleted. So that sheds some pixels off of here, but it's still a gigantic image. The next step I recommend you do is scale the image down and always scale it down to the largest size that the image needs to be. If you're not sure what size that is, I recommend Googling whatever your theme is and then wherever you plan on using the image. How large does my featured image in my posts need to be for the 2024 theme? That's just one example. Once you figure out what those dimensions need to be, just go to image, scale image. And in this example, I'm just going to go with 1200. So type whatever value you need for your width and hit the tab key. As long as you crop this to the proper aspect ratio, you should only need to type in one value for your image dimensions. So long as this little link icon is linked over here, you can always unlink this. But if you unlink that and then you change this to 600, for example, because you know your image needs to be 1200 by 600, it's going to squish the image in order to achieve that aspect ratio. That's why I recommend cropping the image first. And you can always crop the image using these dimensions as the aspect ratio itself. But I'm just going to change that back to 1200 by 1200. We can relink the chain link icon. And for quality, I always set the interpolation to no halo. That always produces a solid result when it's scaling it down. And finally, I will click scale. Now our image is 1200 by 1200. That's great, but we can compress this even further without losing a ton of image quality, so it'll still look good. So let's export it by going to File, Export As, and you can navigate to the folder on your computer using this little navigation over here. And you can see this is the original image before I scaled it and cropped it and did all that stuff. So it was originally 2.8 megabytes, but what I'll do is just rename this and now I'll add the file extension to the end of this. So you can do .jpg, which is a compressed file type, but I like to go with .webp. So that is a compressed file type created by Google. If you try to upload WebPs to YouTube, it's not going to work. YouTube requires JPEGs. But when it comes to WordPress, WebP is pretty universal now, and it's going to have just as good of quality as a JPEG does, except it's going to be a bit more compressed than a JPEG. In some tests, they say it, the quality is better than JPEG. So I like to go with WebP and I will click export. The image quality I like to set to 85. You can set this to higher if you want the image quality to be higher. Of course, that will increase the file size. 85 for me is a good balance between getting the file size down while maintaining the image quality. Finally, I'll hit export. And now we've exported our compressed image. If I go to file, export as, you can see just how much smaller this file is than the original. So it was 2.8 megabytes. Now it is 132 kilobytes, which is basically, I believe, 0.13 megabytes. So way smaller. That's going to help out with the page load speed. But let's navigate here over to WordPress. If you want to upload this to WordPress, just navigate over to the media section. Then open up your file explorer on your computer or your finder window if you're using a Mac. And here's that compressed image. Simply drag and drop that into the media area and release your mouse. 
Now we have our compressed image here inside of WordPress. Thanks for watching this tutorial. You can check out more tutorials on my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass on Udemy. You can also enroll in my WordPress simplified course on Udemy. And I do have a help article version of this tutorial. It's available in 40 plus languages on my website if you prefer to learn that way. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.